Games. Monday Movie Massacre. Weird James from Vagrancy Films is in the studio. Hey, Weird James. What's going on? Hey. Weird James. <laughs> Look, he's moving. He's still dancing. He's still dancing. Rock on. Rock of ages. Weird James went to see this new Tom Cruise musical on the weekend. You're shaking your head. Is that to the music? Well, or? you know, I w- you know, just so people don't think I'm jaded. You know, I'm a fan of musicals. I watched Hee Haw when I was growing up. So, you know, hmm. I like musicals. And this... Uh, <laughs> I'll get right down to business. This movie is like that girl in the bar, you know what I mean? She don't look too good at the start of the night. <laughs> but by but the as end of the, the night, night progresses, it kind of grows on you. And yeah. this, they, they try to fit so many songs. But I, can't, I think there was like 50 songs in the first credits alone. Wow. Just like... Clip, 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 clip. And it's it, all songs. They're like about yeah, crowd pleasers, yeah, right? Yeah, crowd, all arena, big along. arena rock songs. And I mean, you know, I'm the only guy in there pretty much, you know, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, trying, to have, I'm trying to have the best time I can. So then I start looking at stuff like, okay, the music's all right. You know, I don't like the mom jeans that Alec Baldwin's wearing. I'm finding little things, right? But then they're, they're nailing it. It's supposed to be 1987, and I'm looking at the, the albums that were out in the background of the record stores, and I'm going, yeah, that, that's cool. Somebody did their homework and so whatnot. So it brought you back to like... It brought me back because I'm... You're, I'm an Childhood old. Years. I'm an old dude, but there was a scene in it that really brought me back. And you know, I'm thinking they did it all the outside outfits really nice. Like what? Was, like, but what? What about the inside outfits that these people are wearing? Like, so are they gonna are they gonna nail that too? And sure enough, I get my chance. Tom Cruise does an interview with this girl from Rolling Stone. They're singing Foreigner. I want to know what love is. You know, they start to have fun, a little bourbon. Next thing you know, she's in a state of undress. And, yep, she's rocking the cotton undies exactly like the 80s. I felt like I was in Byway again. The 80s underwear. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like I was at the Byway looking at the bloomy section. I got those out, underwear. I creeping, totally know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, creeping. Every lady, every girl. <laughs> That is, that is from this area, knows the byway. Yes. Every boy that had a girl in that area knows the byway because they're all rocking the same bloomies. So, it, boom, <laughs> it took me back. So then I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching, am I reaching for my limes? Then I got, I'm reaching for a wet wipe. I don't know what I'm reaching for. I mean, you know, the whole the movie went to a whole different level after that. It was great. Oh, James. Yeah, and so, you know, Brian wasn't as bad as what I thought. Byway. I'm alone in there. Byways and Bloomies and Tom I haven't Cruise. thought about Byway. Oh, I thought about probably Byway. Probably 25 years. What is what? I never, I used to live in White Hills. I'd go to the Byway in Sherd Forest Mall all the time. It never had like sexual overtones for me, James. Oh, uh, it did for me. Yeah, they had the whole underwear bra had, section. Yeah, it's like Giant Tiger now. It's the same way. Giant Tiger. Byway did. turns weird James on. There you, well, there you go. <laughs> Pretty much learning, sums the guy up. learning a little bit week by week. Okay, so if you're a fan of byway underwear, go yeah. see Rock, go see Rock, Rock Ages, Vegas. I guess. Bloomies. How did Tom Cruise do? That's what I wanted. Uh, yeah. He was cool. I liked the monkey with him. He had a little monkey. The monkey steals the whole show. That in the underwear. Um, but yeah, Tom Cruise was good. Everyone in it was good. Again, it wasn't. It wasn't as terrible as what I thought. Like I warmed up to it eventually, but okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised the amount of money it made this weekend because I was like, I was the only guy in there, so that's why I had to like. Yeah, it was a bomb. <laughs> take stuff up. It I had to, to make I had like take, 35 really... mil. It only made 15. Yeah, I was creating my own entertainment in there, so <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> okay, so James rates movies based on how many drinks he has to have from his uh, Mickey that he smuggles in. That's right. In order to make it through uh, Rock of Ages, how many shots did you have? It was a three. Three shots. Three shots, right at the start. Wow, that's better than uh, a lot of the movies this summer. Mm-hmm. I know. It does better. So. Good for you. All right, James, next week uh, you will be reviewing Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming in. Monday right. Movie Massacre. Byway Underwear. <laughs> if you got some, send it into the station for <laughs> yeah, Weird James. Please do. <laughs> Monday Movie Massacre.